Today we recognize our brother, Sergio Rascona. We thank you for coming all the way from Southern California to join us, Sergio. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Jaime, thank you so much. And um, obviously, I've known Jaime for many years, and uh, I tell you, he's a great leader. He's uh, someone that uh, it is a treasure for many of us uh, to, you know, be able to understand that people like him can make a big difference and makes a big difference. Uh, I like to, uh, you know, recognize a lot of my brothers and sisters that are here from, you know, Northern California, the business managers uh, of the laborers, La Yuna, uh, all the locals. If I start mentioning names, I will never finish because I know many of you are here, and I thank you for being here. Also, that's right. I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled and honored that, uh, you know, it was a surprise to me to see my boss, General President of our International Union, Mr. Terry O'Sullivan here. Uh, uh, this is, to me, this is a man that has done so much and continues to do so for this labor organization. And you would never think that somebody like him be the type of man that he is because he's so humble and yet so powerful when it comes to the good things about the labor movement. And for that, I am very proud and uh, privileged to be part of the team that he runs in Washington, D.C. and across the nation. Thank you for being here. Uh, and of course, our regional, our regional manager, the Pacific Southwest Regional Manager, also assistant to our general president and vice president to our international, Rocco Davis. Thank you for being here. And congratulations to the recipients of tonight, you know, whom I share with you, uh, great labor leaders and my good friend, uh, Ricky Casa, that, uh, you know, every time we see each other, we remind ourselves about good mariachis over in Mexico when we went with a governor out there. So uh, he thinks to uh, know or, uh, or say that I know all the songs that the mariachi plays. If he, don't, if he only knew, I can't even sing one song. But I know the names. But anyway, it is a pleasure to be here tonight, and of course, for a good cause. And the award should go to Instituto Laboral de la Raza. That it should go to them because what you do, this is all what you do on everyday basis, you know. People like me, you know, treasure on that. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the story, as Jaime has asked me, uh, as to being an immigrant myself. And uh, I thank God for this great country that gives us the opportunities, that gives us uh, the ability to move forward. Great people like my general president that gives us the opportunity to do what we do best for our people. When I came here into the United States, I was very fortunate. Now we fight for immigration reform every day. And I tell people, I speak on that, and thank God that uh, I've been given the task that uh, you know, I'm part of uh, the uh, drivers when it comes to that reform. But I tell people, I said, I wish we can go back to when I came here. Now, my dad was a labor at that time, a member of Labor's Local 300, when at that time the employer was able to uh, uh, sponsor if they wanted to bring their family. My dad was already a green card holder. And I tell people when I speak, it took us 22 days from the time the paperwork started to the actual handing over of the green card, 22 days when we came in. Now today, 
everybody knows that it takes, what, two, three years before somebody acknowledges that they receive the application, and then from that point, and then it takes a lot more time. But only in America, only in America, and this is a great country. I mean, most of my life had actually been here. Obviously, I do not forget my roots. I'll be a traitor if I do that. But I believe that this country, it's only one of the greatest, if not the greatest number one country in the world because it gives all of us the opportunity to grow. And I mentioned people that gives us the opportunity. So today, I'm very blessed and honored by being here, not on behalf of myself, but on behalf of the true people, of the true workers, the ones that suffer, the ones that go through everything so that we can do what we need to do. The ones that are the real boss, as I always say. I am not anywhere near a boss when it comes to serving the people that are out there in the field, the people that really make it happen for all of us. I say that. Our general president say that. We always take that treasure on the working people. That's why Instituto de la Raza, uh, or Laboral de la Raza, is so important that they take care of the unorganized, the people that are exploited, the people that do not have somebody to take care of them as a collective bargaining agreement as we do. But I'm so happy that we got organizations that stand up for people like that. And I look forward to working with uh, Instituto de la Raza, uh, porque no nos debemos de olvidar de dónde venimos y quiénes somos, porque el día que nos olvidemos, ese día se nos termina todo. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sergio, again, for coming all the way from California, from uh, L.A.